If you've ever watched a boxing match, you know that some fights have no clear winner and no clear loser. But sometimes they get won by a knockout. We all face battles in our lives, friends. But let's talk about having a knockout victory in your life. Hey, welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert. Thanks for joining me uh, here in the ring of life this morning. You know, obviously I'm not back at my office yet. I thought I would be, haven't made it. So still no study, no clergy shirt, just me and you in a hotel room. So what are you gonna do? But even here in a hotel room, this is still the top spot on the internet for coffee with a cleric. You know, my goal is to introduce people to the Jesus they never knew then help them get to know him and his word personally and better. So if our time together today speaks to your heart, let me invite you to like, subscribe, and then also share this video with a friend. Well, like I said, we all face battles in our lives. As regular viewers will know, I often begin these daily devotionals with a, an illustration designed to lay the groundwork for the points that follow. And I confess that my first thought when I selected this topic for today was to search for the phrase overwhelming military victories and then find a suitable illustration, preferably from the United States Marine Corps, of course. But descriptions of overwhelming victory, as it turns out, are a rather gruesome affair, far too graphic for this purpose. So I decided to illustrate my opening point with you. As I observed with my opening sentence, we all face battles, and you know the battles you're facing. You know with more excruciating detail what these battles have cost you. You, like me, may have painful and graphic memories of the times you've fallen and you've failed. The precise nature of the sin or sins that have held control in your life doesn't really matter. Whether you've battled substance abuse, sexual addictions, perversions, uncontrollable violent anger, or any other sin, you know it and its pain all too well. And hidden within your heart and your memories are likely failures known only to you. Painful, vile, embarrassing falls from our own attempts at mastery over life-controlling sin. You and I, we're the most poignant illustration I could give. Sin's very much akin to the siege of an island nation. It intends to cut off all access to all resources and destroy its enemy bit by bit until the will to resist has been overcome. Then surrender leads to total mastery and most often <laughs> rapid death. But today's verse promises that overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. So here's my question. What would overwhelming victory look like in your life? Can you picture what your life would look like if the sin that you battle with wasn't in control? Hey, just, just pause here for a minute. And ponder that, if you will. Just consider what freedom and peace you'd have if the siege was lifted. Savor the thought. Picture freedom. Picture overwhelming victory. Friends, I've been delivered from life-controlling sins <laughs> too voluminous and disgusting to begin to list here. Like St. Francis, I can say, I have been all things unholy. If God can work through me, <laughs> he can work through anyone. Well, God now uses that which the enemy intended for my destruction as a flag of victory that opens the doors for people still under siege. What would overwhelming victory look like 
in your life. Today's the midpoint of the year. Tomorrow, we enter the second half of the year as July begins. Wouldn't you like the rest of the year to be a year of overwhelming victory for you? It can be. And next year, and the next. Because God's promise is as alive as he is. His power is not diminished. Many stories of siege end with the arrival of reinforcements. The tide turns as the new army enters the scene. Those who appeared to have victory in hand, suddenly decimated and destroyed. Take the promise of God and bring it into your own heart. Say it to yourself in this manner. Overwhelming victory is mine through Christ who loves me. Christ can and does bring overwhelming victory into the lives of those who call upon him. Christ's power does change lives. I'm a living testimony, and you can be as well. He often works through his hands and feet here on earth, his church. If you want to see overwhelming victory, Christ moving in your life, we can help you claim his promise. If you want to pray with a man or a woman of faith who will stand with you and walk the path leading to overwhelming victory, just send a message. You can use this platform if you wish, or send an email with the subject line, Victory, to Bishop Robert at ceec.church. And we'll connect you with someone who will graciously and tenderly introduce you to the overwhelming victory found in Jesus. Jesus is ready for you. The reinforcements you've needed have arrived. Open your gates and welcome him. Because overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. Friend, before you go, can I ask you to help me introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and help them get to know him and his word personally and better? Here's how to do it. Please just click like on this video because it helps more people see it. Truly does. If you click follow or subscribe, then you and I will get together every day. Hey, one more thing. Share this video with a friend, would you? Because as you do, you're part of the team touching hearts all over the world with the love of Jesus. Thanks for helping.